Actually, in this video, just we will have a discussion about the sort of questions which can be in the jumbled sentences. Okay. So hence see here the jumbled sentences. Particularly in various types of competitive exams, the jumbled sentences are asked. And here that we can see what type of tricks or uh, in which ways we can solve these type of questions. Okay, so step by step, see here. And precisely we can see these steps which are needed to solve such type of questions here. Let's see. Number one, if a jumbled sentence can be there, in the sense a sentence is scattered in a way that the parts of a sentence are scattered in illogical manner, we can just sequence these all parts in logical manner. This is to be done in jumbled sentences. So let's see which steps, which steps are to be followed here. Let's see. Number one, that first of all, we need to identify subject we can just identify the verb okay after that we can identify an object and at last if there are the uh, adverb uh, adjuncts such words Okay, we can identify the adverbial adjuncts. So these steps can be followed with regard to solving jumbled sentences. Okay, so these are some steps we can just follow all these steps by uh, by having one example. So let's see. Let's begin here to identify the sequence in logical manner as we have seen some steps as first of all we can identify the subject so in this example what do you think what can be your subject so here I can be your subject so first step after identifying subject you can just start to find your verb okay so it can be your verb print right after verb the next step is of is of your object okay so about you right so about you this part can be this part can be included in your object okay and last whatever is left is your adverbial adjunct adjunct okay so yesterday it can be the adverbial adjunct. Hence, the logical sequence of this given sentence it could be as I dreamed about you yesterday. Okay. So I is at the place of here, for example, one, then here two. 3 and 4th ok so this can be the logical sequence of this sentence so hence such type of questions can be expected in jumbled sentences ok just we have seen now if there can be a simple sentence right how can we the proper sequence of these jumbled sentences but sometimes there can be complex sentence or maybe compound sentence what can we do if there are such complex or compound sentences let's see here if there can be your compound sentence at that time we can just find two main clauses and appropriate coordinating conjunction to make your compound sentence but instead of which if there can be your complex sentence in a way if complex sentence is there the first step is of your selecting
the main cause, right? Select the main cause. After selecting your main cause, you can just select the subordinating cause. And after arranging the proper sequence, you can just guess whether the arranged sequence is making a proper sense. Okay, so you can make this sentence in proper sequence. How can be the logical sequence in this given instance? Let's see. Particularly, we need to identify the main clause. Okay. So if we can observe these parts, we just we just are able to identify that I think right this part can be of use main clause. So I can be subject here, right? Here think can be also for in the part of your main clause. Okay, whereas this is the part of your main clause, whereas there is another part of your subordinating clause. So what can be it? Let's see here, that can be conjunction used here to, con to conjunct or to join the subordinating clause. So let's see here, I think that, okay, I think that here I can be repeated. So once I may write here again as as I. So let's see. I think that I. Okay. After subject. Okay. So this is the part of your subordinating clause. So again subject. Then verb part can be there as should have. So should can be modeled auxiliary here. Right. And the place as per the grammar it would be have. Have can be used as your primary auxiliaries. It can work. It can function as Yours main verb. Okay, so I should have what a piano. A can be article for the noun in the sense here it is an object. What a piano. Okay, so hence with the proper logic, your proper sequenced sentence would be like this. As I think that I should have a piano. In this manner, we can we can just solve or we can just follow some tricks so that we can form the uh, proper sequence if there are the jumbled sentences in the exams. So that's all. Thank you all the best.